next dream plan. So the food lists have become a little bit shorter. We've added some things to the food list, but I've taken away your waffles, your pancakes. Your pancakes have changed. They're not really made with you know flour anymore. Now they're made with cashews and oats. Uh, but they are delicious. And then there is the countdown to competition plan. And the way I describe this is it's the toughest mental challenge you'll ever take. Um, this, that real plan, that what I do the last three weeks leading up to competition, it really is, it's your mind is in it. It's, it's strict. It's not only just your wine is gone and your chocolate's gone, there's carb depletion days in there. So you're doing two days of carb depletion, one day of regular eating. And, and you're in it for 21 days. But if you're gonna get shredded and you wanna take your body to the next level and you wanna see just how far you can go, that's the plan to try. And the cool thing is, is we've broken it down in there for you guys so that let's say you start with countdown to competition and you get three or four days in and you're like, ah, this is not how I wanna be doing this or I am not ready. You can just switch over to the extreme plan. Or maybe you want to start with the extreme plan and you're a week or two into it and you're like, oh, I got this. Let me try out the countdown to competition. You can finish it off the last three days of the program with it. So you can alternate between the two. But the bottom line is this is not calorie restriction. It's not unhealthy for you. Both of them are still perfectly healthy, perfectly safe to be doing. So you don't have to question like, oh, am I going to starve on them? No. Again, people are like, how much more protein do I have to eat? <laughs> on countdown to competition. I eat nine times a day. Uh, yeah, it's fun. <laughs> For those of you who like to eat, John T. asked Stephanie. She ate all the peanuts on the plane. I did not. Let's go. 